graphics for videos like this are very quick and easy to make if you know what you're doing but they're also good as thumbnails so I'll show you how to do them quite quickly and you'll find that YouTube will actually resize them for your uh, thumbnails anyway but they're very good for putting up here as well so the first thing you want to do is download GIMP just go to GIMP.org and there's different versions you've got it for the Apple Mac you've got it for the PC and you've got it well Windows PC and also for Linux on the PC um, so basically you all bases are covered and then once you've got it up and running which we should have here this is what you've got just start a new uh, new uh, let's just do a standard 1024768 and let's throw some images in here so it's we've got YouTube this will actually be used for my next upcoming video so I'll resize this okay that'll do what I do is I generally throw them in there and see how it looks and I want a submarine do I want a submarine or the four? I might put the four first resize the four, sorry I forgot to say what I'm doing this cross here moves them around this one here with a small and large square or rectangle that's actually resizes them so I rescale it then center it it still looks a little bit big to me so I resize it a little bit more that looks about right. Drop that roughly in the middle. And there's a submarine somewhere. Where's my sub gone? There he is. I'll throw my sub in there. I want to resize him as well. Let's see how that looks. A little bit small, make them a bit bigger. Scale, move them across. So that's sort of like sub. And I want two submarines in here, so I'm going to throw another one in here. I should. There is a way of duplicating it, but. I find it easier just to do this because it, it seems to work on layers so it can be quite fiddly sometimes uh, that's something that looks a bit smaller than the other one can I make them a little bit bigger scale a little bit more that looks close. So we've got our two submarines. I want this one facing the other way. So go up here and use this tool. This one here. This sort of flips it around. And then let's take a look, see how it looks. Tail end is sort of lying in line there. It's a little bit over, I think. So maybe that was to just align there a bit more. Okay, it's not good, it's not a hundred percent, but you get the idea. Then all you do is ex uh, export as an image and we're going to do it as a, a PNG and I'm going to call it sub for sub and I'll throw that on my desktop is it on desktop come on where are you saving that to I don't want it in my documents user uh, users desktop Export. Export. And then I'll just leave it as it 
my settings as it is because it looks about right anyway and there it is there and that's basically I could take that now oh I'm not gonna be able to drop that in Camtasia Uh, go back to Camtasia, drop it in there, and basically I could throw this on my screen now. So we went back to the start of this video, for example. Got the vlog in on a budget, but as you can see, that's a finished video um, intro or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's as simple as that. Final note that I just remembered, um, I forgot to tell you how to upload your, cu <laughs> your custom thumbnails. Basically you just click here. Um, here we go. This is a video it's uploading as you can see. And you just basically click customize thumbnail, find the one that you're doing. Uh, should be on our desktop somewhere. Oh, we'll upload the vlog one because that's the relevant one for this video anyway it should take a few minutes then it will appear on the where it's actually spinning around on the window at the moment there you go and that's as simple as it can get you know for uploading and that'll be ready I'm going to drop that into the vlogging Do -do -do. Reloading for beginners. Publish. Got to fill this out later. But that's it. It's as simple as that. So I go through the hassles of doing these um, thumbnails and little graphics that I stick up here. Well, as you can see, they have a bit of a visual impact. And for videos, if you just have me sat here in my room, for example, it's pretty boring. But when I change myself for one of these very artistic but very simple um, thumbnails on my videos you're likely to get more click throughs purely because they're visually appealing um, does take a bit of practice but then I mean I'm not being funny within an hour you'll know your way around GIMP to be producing something similar to that without a doubt very very simple program but it does do some complex stuff the more you get into it but the GIMP tutorials will go on my other channel at some point um, and I'll go through different things, what to do, how to do this, how to do that. But for the vlogging for beginners, you only need to know, know how to put something like that together. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.